Hello everyone, I'm Chinese Mr. Milk Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Kaiserreich. Now, we are playing as Qing, and in this episode, we are going to finish out the Fang Qing government. I promise you that by the end of this episode, we will be done with them, and we might end up at war with the left KMT, because they are getting stronger. I've had some people tell me that, you know what, the left K KMT is expanding, we gotta keep an eye on them, we gotta kill them off, because they're evil radical socialists, they're running out of power. <clears throat> or I should say manpower. They have either a small, medium-ish size army or a fairly medium, large-ish army. We don't know. They're currently at war with the Shandong clique, which has plenty of manpower and divisions. But to be careful, let us resume our war. Now, you might wonder, hey, look, there's an extra front line here. I've decided that, you know what? Shandong clique is at war with the left KMT. I don't need divisions on their border anymore. So... I'm moving these divisions up, all 17, and we're going to start just trucking through the Fangshin government. Also, before we let time go on, last time, we did a focus that allows us to hire foreign advisors. We could hire bandits, so which we could get a Soldiers of the Forest division or something in Luoyang in two weeks. We could hire Russian advisors for a land auction, which I think is great, and hire exiles in legation cities for trade interdiction. Trade interdiction's okay, and I'm going to go for that land auction. At least. You know what? Let's do trade interdiction, because why not? And that'll help us get a naval doctrine more and more started, which will be good. Um, I don't think I need this, but I got the political power for it, political power for it anyways. So let's, let's go on. Let's let our soldiers get up to the front. That'll be important. As we are continuing to build more and more military factories, we're building some more infrastructure down here in Wuhan. We're going to put ourselves up to be in a very good position against the rest of China, and maybe even Japanese-held Korea. They actually have a lot of... Whole, that's a lot of factories. That's really nice. Naval dockyards, not so great. That's okay. Yeah, the soldiers are coming out of the line, which is good, and then I will shore up this line to be a little bit shorter. All right. Uh, are you guys there yet? Yes, you are. Good. Go ahead. And do something like that. I don't want to separate these under all under one field marshal, but god dang it, let's do it anyways. This might get, this will just make it easier and more balanced. And for Guo Zhaijiao, oh, actually that's a good idea because he has nothing like politically connected, he's not an old guard, that's good. Let our guys get rearranged a little bit more, and then we will do a pretty beefy attack. These are only 10 combat width. I really don't like 10 combat width, but I'm not going to change your divisions because, well, I'm out of guns. I'm almost out of our deficit of artillery, which will be great. I'm, I am going to try a general attack, though. So we'll see what, how that happens. No manpower. Very good. Good, good. Get a little bit more planning. We are using one division of garbage tanks. Well, they're only garbage just because they have infantry. Honestly, it's not terrible. It could be a lot worse. But, let's get some more organization first, and then we shall unleash <coughs> the Qing might. Uh, oh, there's oh, there's actually three divisions. Nice. These are 20 combat width. That's actually not terrible. Nice. Uh, just put you under there. It doesn't matter, really. Against Hunan, or I guess left KMT. That's fine with me. Has anyone expanded yet? No, which is good. Alright, you guys should be able to do a pretty good job regardless of what happens, so... Because you have a ton of numbers on you guys. Just a lot of manpower and equipment. You should have enough equipment to do whatever needs to get done. It is 1940. We could do, be doing some air doctrine stuff. We could do, be doing some atomic research. Ah, uh, you know what? Screw it. We'll do it. Why not? A nuclear Qing China? Why not? Now, how many divisions are defending? They got 10. They do have a lot of divisions around here. Oh, 15 against our 18. Not great odds. But it is what it is. Let me get some fuel. Um, Azerbaijan. I'll take one little sip of fuel from you. Thank you. Which does basically nothing for us. Oh, we're winning down there. We're winning over here. At this point, I'm going to use the tactic of, even though we may be taking a lot of losses, that's okay. Because enemies cannot... Uh-oh. 
reinforce their losses. They're out of manpower. So the more enemies we kill, the less strength that they will have. And this is not good. We might just see a Entente, or not Entente, Third International and Russian Weltkrieg, or Cold War, really. Kalter, Kalternacht. Kalternacht. Then again, Russia, you're not at war with... Oh, you're actually at war with Germany, but you really don't have that many borders with Germany proper. Artillery, very good. That's going to be super, super important. Tanks, I'd love to use tanks. But it is 1940. And I need to start thinking about this a little bit more. Advanced cruiser hulls? Sure. Good. We've seen a little bit of red, but we've still seen a, quite a bit of green, which is nice. We no longer have a deficit of artillery. We're going to keep that running for a little bit until I put some more support artillery on my divisions. I could replace one of the infantry battalions in my infantry divisions with more artillery, but that just, that just costs too much at the moment. We're going to be taking a lot of casualties, and that's okay. Up to 70 divisions, nice. You guys gotta earn your keep. He is level 7, which is really good. I'm expecting mostly just results from this general down here. These guys, some of their divisions aren't really strong. Now let's go ahead and move it back down to balanced. Oh, see, we were defeated in one tile there, that's okay. Let you move around. You're doing fine. Good, good. How many divisions are defending? Nine? Holy cow. Now, do they have a modifier that gives them more defense on core territory? I don't think so. Unscrupulous government. G governance, excuse me. Backwards industry. Kwantung army? No. And these aren't my core territories either, are they? I have a claim on these territories, not a core. Dominionists win in South Africa. Very nice. Very nice. We're doing a very good job here. Very nice. Very good job. Need more guns. Artillery is going down a little bit. We need more support equipment, which is good. <clears throat> awesome. You're doing a great job. Go ahead and start moving them out that way. So then you get more strength up this way. That'll be glorious. That'll be really good. I'll just let Kumantang Shandong Creek war going. Hmm. Oh, bandits run wild. Liu Zhenhua and the rest of the soldiers of the forest have we have hired have gone wild. Over the last few weeks they've pillaged friendly towns and even attacked government troops over women and loot. What should we do? Delete the mercenaries. Well, you're just, you're down here, you're not, you're not even looting anything. This is what happens when you trust Chinese bandits. Ah, Actually, I didn't even see the war thing yet. That was kind of pathetic. How's this going? That's a lot of losses. 69,000 losses? Nice. Nice. Improved computing machine. 1940. Get some more encryption. That'd be key. War proper... Japan, what are you doing? Nationalizes Zaibatsu's local logistics, which is great to have. Really, really great to have. Next up... Conflict. Let's finish some more of this stuff. Purchase foreign arms. Our anti-concession stance prevents us from dealing with those countries that participated in the suppression of the Boxer Rebellion, but there are many countries in the world that respected our sovereignty in that calamitous era. Austria, Scandinavia, and other nations have military equipment that could be useful to our nation. Absolutely, positively, just go ahead and keep killing the evil Chinese. Actually, deliver... Deliver armies enough supply. Well, we already have minus 10% supply consumption, which is already pretty darn good. These guys have no manpower. You should be able to break them more and more. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Their strength level is 5%. Yeah, we're attacking over river with not really thick combat with cavalry divisions, but that's okay. Things happen. Oh, we actually have a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of fuel. Nice. Very good. And let's make sure we extend this up all the way. Oh, or not. Okay, okay, or not. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're winning everywhere, so with these attacks, go ahead and stop for now. That's okay. You don't always have to attack. Let's get resituated, reform the front line. Oh, oopsie. Once some of these attacks are done. And then, uh, yeah. Make sure that we're good and balanced. Losses. 
30,000 more losses. They're closing closing in on 2 million. Shenyang is relatively close to our army, or we're really to, relatively close to them. Keep an eye on infantry equipment. Good. Send half of you to finish this battle up. Okay, not all of you, but whatever. You hold. And they're attacking us here, which is fine with me. Their strength, well, they're not too strong. Let's go ahead and redeploy the line. Spread the soldiers out a little bit better. And with all this army XP, we will have the capability of making our combat division templates even better. Did anyone get reorganized? Ah, you're still kind of get, getting reorganized up there. That's fine. Give us a little bit of a breather so that we can build more guns. And maybe some more support equipment. That's pretty important, too. Put you right there. We're making one of these. Only make one more of those. I don't have the next better cruiser hole yet. I might just make convoys during that time. Because I want to make sure I make some advanced cruiser holes. Because even though they're not perfect, better than nothing. Alright, you guys. I'm going to give you extra supply so this doesn't hurt you. Go crazy. Go ahead and deliver us a victory. A Chinese victory. For the Puyi. Good. Yeah. Oh, Fall of Kiev. The Ukrainian situation appears dire. Oh, no. Oh, that did give us just a tiny bit more fuel to work with, too. Which is, which is kind of nice. Kind of nice. Ah, this very stationary battle. Well, not anymore. Yeah, the war, I mean... They're still putting up quite a good amount of defense against us. But it's nothing like what it was before. Lessons from the wars. Recon companies, land doctrines, maintenance companies. Ah. Huh. Well, they're not going to get that for too long. Oh, we captured a duckyard. Oh, no. We just finished the other ship. That's okay. You guys do that. Um... Uh, go back, select, and there you go. That's what I want to do. That is not bad. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. That's, you know, good enough for what we need. Yep, the armies have pretty much, they're unable to do anything really against us. Oh, we have more steel. Good. Get those factories, put them on our guns, and then put them over here as well. That would be good to do. Oh, I still have even more factories. Holy cow. Raise this up to 18, then. Because for this other factory... Oh, uh, fighters. Those will be important. And... Naval bombers, once we have them. And transport planes, since you really don't ever upgrade transport planes for some reason. Not sure why, but... Mm, oh, well. Whatever. I'm going to need them when I try to invade Japan. Good, good, good. Ah, now we're doing much better. They've got up to 2 million losses. Oh, and there goes the Ukraine. <clears throat> oh, wow, that is some serious Russian interference. White Ruthenia's gone as well. The Serbian Republic is coming back with one heck of a vengeance. Wait. Mm, mm, ah, oh no. Oh, no. Am I at war with Japan now? It looks like I'm at war with Japan. Well, we better hurry up on this war, then. Oh, boy. That being said, I need to guard Port Arthur as well. Uh, I'm going to deploy you all immediately. Give me half of you guys. You're going to guard Port Arthur. I don't... I'm sure they're going to be funneling soldiers in there if they haven't already. Next up, uh, go with Zhang Xiao, whatever. And then you guys, this is going to be an emergency Coast Guard division. Because, you know, Japan, they like just sitting on the coast. They're just invading the coast so much. It's so annoying. Yeah, these are the wrong divisions really to use, but whatever. I'm, this is just an emergency for now. 
I didn't realize Japan was called into the war, which they've been losing quite a bit to uh, the Allies, which is nice, which is very nice. Yeah, we're at war with these guys, which means we have to push into Korea. We're going to push into Transamir, which is actually okay with me. Hmm, Chinese puppet. If they, we take out Transamir. You know what? Just keep going. I want to capitulate Qing China. Qing China? No, I am Qing China. I want to capitulate uh, the Fang Qing government as fast as possible. Come on, guys. Get up there. Move, move, move. They're doing a great job, though. They're really, really doing a great job. Come on, move. Oh, hello, Entente members. Would you all like a non-aggression pack? Sure, yeah. I like that. Guns. Steel. I'm going to borrow one more steel from German Empire somehow. There you go. Produce more. Produce, produce, produce. Ah. Uh, oh, they're actually in their own separate piece deal. Nice. Ah, uh, rightful Chinese clay comes home. Beautiful. Now, this is actually really nice because now we have just one big old front line against all these fellas. Uh, kill off that Japanese division. You want to get involved in here, boy? Boy, you ain't going to win this wall. That being said, let's immediately begin integrating some of these provinces. So, Jehol claim lost by Qing, but now it's a core. Form the Chinese United Front. Huh. Oh, wait. Oh, I need... I lost that tile or something. Go ahead and do... Um, I'm not going to do that until we know that the enemies are... Subjugated or moved out of the way. Come on, guys. You gotta move, 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 move. Yeah. If you could just get down to Port Arthur. Distractions are nice. Distractions are very nice. Not sure how you landed here without uh, you taking the tile, but you know, whatever. Beautiful. Kill them off. They have no supplies. I'm not gonna tell them to rush ahead and just fight just yet. I want all the soldiers on the line first. Because I'm sure the Japanese soldiers are also tied down somewhere else. They have only 21. Japan has up to 65. That's not very much. That's not very much at all, and I like that. Good. Keep killing them. Alright. Korea isn't super defended yet. So, go ahead and just push in. Oh, wait. Nope, 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 nope. I didn't realize I clicked on everybody. You, I just want the horses. Good. Oh, the left KMT is probably pushing. Actually, no, Shandong Clique probably is. Purchase foreign arms, very good. Oh, oh, yeah, they're becoming more equal in terms of losses, which is nice. Fuel, no, you're okay. German Empire, you're okay. Aluminum, Austria. Oh, Austria. Now, you know what, you lost it. I had to trade with your enemy. Your fault, not mine. Um, do I have any resources I could build up in what was the Fangshin government? Yes. But no, because this is Kaiser, because they don't build up resources when you build up infrastructure, which really is Garbo. Now, we have an extra... a couple extra civilian factories. I'm going to continue expanding my civilian factory base just because I can use it to trade away more resources. That's what I really, really, really want. Um, what's next? Air bases are okay. Dockyards probably would be a good idea. But all is repair crap down there. It doesn't matter. Uh, next. Prepare to breach dams? Hell no. De develop Zili Engineer Corps. China's rugged terrain necessitates that any military force having uh, a good offense or defense needs an engineer corps to support it. Unfortunately, the ad hoc amateur quality of many of our divisions prevents engineering support from being truly effective. We must develop our own military engineering schools in order to ensure our troops have adequate support. Absolutely. And look at this deficit. It was getting better until the Japanese attacked. Ah. Uh. We need two divisions. Um, when these guys are done, I'm actually going to just go pull you two off of here. That'd be nice. I'm going to leave that guy right there. I'm going to leave these guys kind of around, just because I might need a defensive force to guard against the coast. You never know. Keep going, guys. Keep going. I mean, we already have a portion of North Korea under our belt. 
Alright, you guys definitely are not going for some reason. Now you should go, after I told you. Alright, you're not moving. That is not bueno, guys. That is really not bueno. Alright, you don't have to go that ham. Encryption, nice. Decryption. Really, Korea is probably more of a target than Transamir for now. Good. If we can continue to separate these fools, they will perish. Move in, move in. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Get Vladivostok. Oh, that's our capital. Nice. Very good. What is a Japanese fleet like? Oh, that's pretty huge. Holy crap. That's pretty big. Over 250 ships, maybe? It's quite a bit. Yeah, Australasia? Yeah, let's have a little thing like that. Vladivostok shall be ours in time, and maybe we could form our own Russian puppet. Ooh. That sounds like a lot of fun. Cool. Let's go ahead and start integrating some of these provinces. Um, Darien. Oh. Least territory. Yes, please. Port Arthur will be fully Chinese. The Jilin province. Yes. Shenyang. Yes. Now, it does cost us quite a bit of political power, and that's okay. Next up. Purchase surplus Austrian artillery. 500 units. Oh, pff, yeah, yeah. Give me that stuff. Surplus Danish LMGs and other support equipment. Yeah, yeah. Austrian small arms, 2,500? Two, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, give me that stuff. And I just spent all my political power that I've been saving up for a while. Yes, heavy cruisers, <clears throat> or really light cruisers, or really just cruisers. Revived armor cruiser? Huh. Interesting. Before we even make that, though, i got to do that first. Ah, uh, encirclements. A beautiful thing. Just begin attacking them. They shouldn't have that much strength. Ah, more military factories. Very good. Trade away for one more. The Germans could probably use it. Beautiful. Albania. Albania. Are you part of a faction? No. That's a... That's one heck of a time to go to war with these guys. I will say that. Germany is not having a good time. Belgium is still, well... Belgium. Mexico. Sure. I'm not sure why we, we would even get into war with you. But the American Union see, is really showing that even after they were losing to the CSA, they still have the gusto to fight back against the combined syndicates. They still have a lot of manpower. CSA has... They're running out of manpower. Oh, someone got encircled. Yeah, they're running out on all adult serve. And Pacific states are on scraping that barrel. Good. Good, good. Alright, guys. Let's start not pushing him in. We need more equipment. Let's finish off Korea first, then. Let you all do what you need to do. Mechanize offensive. Very good. Let's now get shock and all for more soft attack and more artillery specific soft attack. Good. Integrate, integrate, integrate. Japan. How many have we killed off from Japan? 65,000. Not bad, not bad. Uh, the Entente lost actually quite a few. Almost a million. We've lost 17,000. So, honestly, we're doing pretty darn well. Indo-Chinese Union has lost a quarter million. Wow. Still got a lot of manpower, though. That's good for them. Good for them. <clears throat> Just because we don't agree with them necessarily on some stuff, it doesn't mean that we can't help them out in their wars or anything else. Good. Take the tile. Take the tile. And... I forgot about one thing here. Hold. Planes. Where are my planes? Oh, it's hard to see under Beijing. Uh, come here. Help us out in North Korea. Or Northern Korea. Yeah, Northern Korea. It's not North Korea. It's Northern Korea. Uh-oh. Ah, and yeah, Albania was annexed. Yeah, that, we kind of saw that coming. 
They like to defend. But they're the ones who attacked us. So, go ahead and lower your stuff to careful. That'd be good. They're attacking us here, which is fine. They have only two divisions. Okay. 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 Push them back over the river. The more green, the better. Come on, keep squashing them. They're just bugs. They're evil bugs. Lithuania. Japanese bugs. Oh, they're like Japanese beetles. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, down here, you're probably not going to win, so go ahead and cool it. Pyongyang sounds like a good place to get. I don't want to really increase my deficit of infantry equipment, but these cavalry, they just need more strength on them. They don't even have support artillery. I'm going to throw in some artillery for those bad boys. It's probably a bad idea to do this now, but whatever. Gives them quite a bit more soft attack. That's nice. That's real nice. Good, yeah, let them attack us. Let them attack us. This is probably where most of the Japanese army is actually going to go, since... I don't think they've invaded anyone else. Um... I don't think you need to attack that one division, dude. You guys, though? Uh, let's get thorough planning. Let's, let's try that. Alright, so thanks a lot for just leaving a tile open. I'm not sure why you would do that. Um, yeah, I guess we might as well help attack there. Anything else around Transamur? They're not that strong, which is delightful. Oh, they're out of manpower. That's good. That's actually really, really good. Uh, you, guys could, you guys could definitely win there. That being said, I'm going to need you to defend up here, too. Holy cow, that's a lot of ports you need to guard. Um... You know what? I'm going to train these. You're going to be Coast Guards. Oh, I can just deploy you right here. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Really, really awesome. If I could speak. You know what? I'm going to need these guys probably fairly quickly. So, do that. Good, good, good. Next up, what if we traded one for you and then two from here to attack there? That might. Yeah, that definitely will be able to work. Definitely. Now there's a river. Don't want to attack across the river. That would be no bueno. Korea's coming more and more to a standstill. That's unfortunate. God, I told you to be careful. Don't go just kill anyone you want. Be careful about what you do. Guys, no. Stop it. You're causing unnecessary casualties. Why are you attacking? Why? There's no reason to attack. You're not going to win. If we were to attack, we would attack right there. That's a really good spot to attack. We moved up. That's nice. Why? Why do you want to attack like this? Guns are doing okay-ish. Oh, buy surplus Austrian arms. Retro engineer small arms designs. I like both, but let's get some more guns. I just need more guns. And let's do this as well. We have 0.83 political power day. Very nice. We're still attacking. That's good, that's good. Take not you two, take not you. Attack that way. Keep up their losses, that's important. Why do you have to ruin this? Well. Stop attacking! Like, I know I said leave it to attack, but I want them to attack carefully. This is not a careful attack. Uh, I'm definitely not going to breach those dams. Let's do destroy isolated warlords. While we are mainly focused on building up a defensive capability against Feng Jing and Japan, there are also numerous small isolated warlords around us without much protection. We should destroy these scattered groups and integrate their territory directly into ours. That is a smart, smart thing to do. Let us recoup some of our losses. Um, oh god, we're getting invaded. Oh, actually, I'm glad I left you there then. Nice. Good, good. Good. Awesome. 
Honestly, Transamir probably will fall before anyone else here. Uh, they tried an alien day, but nope. Superior Chinese infantry has won the day out. Good, let him attack us, let him attack us. Instead of... Give me two of you guys. Immediately attack this direction. Next up. Oh, just all of Korea. It's nice. Very good. Recruit some of our losses. We have plenty of artillery now. Um, I'm not going to put it on there yet. If that's the case, make better artillery. I'm going to attack here next. I'm going to take out Pyongyang. Good. Take him out. Take him out. Yep, they're trying to navally invade us again. It's not going to work. Another Yang Sen. Yang Sen. No, no, no. We have a small stockpile of fuel. A very, very small, but worthy stockpile. Glorious. Anyone have upgrades yet? No. You guys are just kind of hanging out down there, which is fine with me. Next up, immediately minus you attack here. Transamur, you are getting more strength, it looks like. Under Yui Mitsui. Up, oh, naval invasion. They're not very organized. And I'm okay with that. We have less than a million manpower. Japan has lost over 118,000 to us, which is great. These guys are still killing each other down here. Um, Did they actually lose a tile? They left KMT, might have? Ooh, Pyongyang. I'm definitely going to need more of these boys. Um, go ahead and deploy, like, you two. I'm going to need you immediately out. So I'm going to need you there. Japan will definitely navally invade us when this happens. Um, just keep you there. That'd be good. They abandoned Pyongyang. Okay. Yeah, why not? Screw it. Why not? Three divisions keep attacking. You six attack here. You two attack here. Followed up with... Probably you two as well. Transamir was a mistake. Kai Zheng Cheng Zun is gone. Very nice. You're going up north, which is good. Now, can you attack in a more balanced manner? It looks like so far, yes. But even though that does leave us a little bit open in the behind area. I want to purchase more equipment so badly. Because that does help our deficit. Ah, destroy isolated warlords. We shall next do follow of the Northwest Conflict. While not as important as the coastal areas in our upcoming struggle, the interior of China still contains valuable riches that we must secure for our upcoming conflict. The, the Northwest Conflict has concluded, and we should start to make or ensure the best of however that war ended. Good. And I will buy... I love artillery. Don't need that. I love support equipment. I need guns. I need, need guns, which... Oh, there goes the PSA. Artillery, support equipment. That's okay. Support equipment we could probably use more of. I like a bonus for infantry equipment, though. That's kind of nice. That's that's actually pretty nice. Oh, wait. Support the AUS. Oh, I don't have that. Reuniting China. Launch a sneaky attack on Yan Zishan. Destroy the leftist KMT. Oh, yeah. What's this one up here? Form the Chinese United Front. Yeah, well, I think China's pretty darn... Divided at the current moment for us to actually do that. So let's not do that. And now we've come across this river here. God dang it. Are you attacking over a river? No. That's good. So this is definitely going to make the Second American Civil War go really badly for the AUS. We might see a Pacific State of America win. How many divisions do all these guys have? 253 maybe. Finland is gone. I'm surprised they've held on for that long. Uh, CSA has up to 250, Pacific States have 81. That's probably a smart idea for the Pacific States. Oh my goodness. And so it only three divisions, but that's okay with me. Going to attack. Immediately attack. Going up this way will be very, very important. Ah, uh, and they are gone. But unfortunately, 
that is all the time for that we have today. We have done a great job, guys. We have expanded, or even doubled the size of Qing. We are taking out Japan and Korea, or taking out their Russian puppet, and we are putting ourselves in a very, very good position. But with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we shall finish pushing Japan out of continental Asia. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.